I've been getting a lot of requests on making a tutorial about moving a 2D sprite based character not just left and right, but also back and forward. This is the type of movement system you generally see in side scrolling beat em ups and it's actually very easy to implement, so this is gonna be a short video. You will first need a paper 2D character that can move left and right. If you don't already have this, I recently made a tutorial about how to set up a simple 2D game in Unreal Engine 5, which you can check out. I will be using that project as a base for this video, but I'll use a different sprite for the sake of visual variety. First we want to change the rotation of the spring arm on the Y axis to get a nicer perspective, looking at the character slightly from the top. We might also want to adjust the target arm length. As you can see we can move left and right by pressing A or D. The nodes that allow us to do this are on the event graph of our character blueprint. We simply take an input that we defined in the project settings in the prior video and pass the axis value to the add movement input node. The world direction on X is set to 1 which determines our movement direction. To also enable up and down movement we need to go back into the project settings and select input. Here we want to add another axis mapping for move up. Since we want the W key and the up arrow key to have a positive value, we leave the scale at 1. For the S and down arrow key, we want to set the scale to minus 1 to signify that we want to go the opposite direction. Back on the event graph, we can now add a node for input axis move up that we just set up in the input settings. Then we again want to trigger the add movement input node. However, this time we want the world direction to be minus 1 on the Y axis. If you try to move up and down now, it might already work for you depending on your character movement component settings. If it doesn't work, select the character movement component and search for constraint. We then need to remove the checkmark from constraint to plane to allow the character to move up and down. Our character can now move up and down. However, there is one more thing we can easily improve. If you look at other games, you will notice that the movement for up and down is generally slower than left and right. We can easily change this by multiplying the axis value we get on move up by a number that is smaller than 1. I'm using 0.6 here. You can see that we now move up and down at a different rate than left and right. To make this easier to update, we want to promote this value to a variable and can then easily change this movement rate by updating the default value. We have now reached our goal of implementing smooth movement on two planes. There is one limitation with this setup though, which becomes apparent if we rotate the player start by about 90 degrees. Even if our player starts facing in another direction in the world, the moment we move, the original direction is ignored and we start running right again. This is because we use hard-coded values for the world direction and also for changing the control rotation. Even though it is possible to make all of these things depend on your spawn rotation so you become able to walk in any direction, it gets pretty complicated quickly and is most likely not worth the effort for most games. All side scrollers are built with the assumption that you always want to move from left to right or right to left. So making our game with the same assumption and adjusting the map to fit that will save us a lot of headaches. I hope you learned something useful in this tutorial. If you want to know how to make your sprite character affected by lights and shadows in the world, I already made a tutorial about 2D 3D hybrid games that covers a lot of these settings related to that. You can check it out here.